What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're going to be out here in central Louisiana looking for some tarantulas. I've actually never found one in my home state and they are one of my favorite spiders. Let's go. The rolling hills and cliff sides of these unfamiliar longleaf pine forests are a place I've been wanting to explore since I was little. And today is my first day up here in central Louisiana, a place filled with incredible natural beauty very few people know about. And it's home to some very unexpected wildlife that I'm guessing very few of you even knew lived in Louisiana. Also, while you're here, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. We make videos every single week. And while you're at it, go ahead and leave a like, because this is my first time up here and we are looking for some venomous animals. So I think that earns this video a like. Scorpion. Scorpion. Okay, fast. These little bark scorpions are tricky. Okay. Ah, look at this little dude. That. Gonna be a little striped bark scorpion. As you can see, he's definitely not gonna stop moving. These little guys are actually pretty difficult sometimes. And they will jump back into the grass, so I have to be careful. And as you can see, they do have that little stinger there. He would whack me. Probably about as bad as a bee sting. I've never actually been whacked by a scorpion before. Very, very common on these little rocky hillsides. They live under rocks, under bark, and pretty much anything you can find here. We've gotten to see Florida bark scorpions before, but I've actually never gotten to see one in my home state until today. Have a look at that. You notice I have to keep moving pretty consistently. And what I want to do really is that. Here we go. So this is the best way to hold a scorpion. If you kind of get him, notice how he just completely chilled out. The only reason that this scorpion is moving, oh, it's okay. I need to get him back like that. The only reason this scorpion is moving is because he's looking to get out of the sun. They absolutely hate the sun. And if I can give him enough cover, notice how he just kind of sits there like that. Isn't that something? Look at that little scorpion. Whew, definitely a good day for the inverts, I'll tell you. And venomous ones at that. Lots of different venomous little inverts along these little rocky hillsides. You get tarantulas, you get scorpions, you're gonna get centipedes, you're gonna get wolf spiders, you're gonna get all these kinds of different really cool arachnids and other inverts as well. All right, well this little guy is gonna keep on moving, so we're gonna go ahead and put him under his rock and uh, hopefully find a tarantula. All right, put a little bit of space under this rock. Let you go, go, go. Don't sting me. Nice. Whew, always a hard one to film, but always pretty fun. These rocky outcrops are home to the Texas brown tarantula, a species of special concern here in Louisiana. While these are a very common species in most of their range, Louisiana is the easternmost part of their home, going all the way up into Arkansas and Missouri. Their favorite places to spend the day is typically going to be under large rocks or logs in tunnels that they like to build and line with their webs. So flipping rocks is one of the best ways to search for them during the day, as well as many other invertebrates that call these hillsides their home. Little tarantula. Check that out. He's a new baby one. Oh, wow. Hello. He doesn't whoop me. Hello. Oh, look at that. A little tiny. First one, though. You can see. Little tarantula. Hopefully we can find a bigger one, but uh, check that out. They get way bigger than this. I mean, I'd probably say like, like probably eight times the size. I mean, this is a little tiny one. You can see his little tunnel here. Look at that, they tunnel under these little rocks. They come out at night and uh, you can kind of see there's loads of rocks. So I'd have to guess that there are a lot of tarantulas in here. So hopefully we're gonna find a bigger one. I'm gonna put this one back and uh, keep looking. A good start, but we're hoping to see one a bit bigger. The most incredible things about tarantulas is their size. So that's what we're hoping to see more of. While our mission for the day was spiders, these areas are home to many other incredibly rare and venomous bugs, as well as some very unique reptile species. Big centipede, big rock. Actually? Well, not a big one, but medium. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh wow, he's beautiful. Hey, hang on, back up, back up to where you get a wider angle. Uh, we've got a nice sized Texas red here. You gotta be quick. Right up the center right there. These centipedes are quick, very, very quick. I don't want to lose him into the vegetation, but that's exactly where he's going. We want to cut him off a little bit. See him? Yep, yeah, I see him. Wait. Yeah. He's going to go right in. Ah. Get away. Get away. Oh well. <laughs> well, that was a smaller one. Uh, hopefully we'll end up seeing one bigger than that. But uh, Texas redheads are pretty quick. It is easier to get a bigger one. But 
yeah, that's rough. Hopefully we'll see more though. After flipping rocks into the heat of the day, we hit an area with a good amount of rocks on the far side of a hill face. The rocks were super loose and had a lot of vegetation around them, which is perfect for Louisiana tarantulas. Tarantula. Have a look at that. Ooh, Texas Brown. Hey, bud. Oh, you okay? Nice. Hello. Have a look at that spider. We're looking at Texas Brown. I don't want to spook them because uh, they actually can move pretty quick. Tarantulas are pretty mild most of the time, but uh, they can bite. I'm not super experienced with tarantulas. This is a small one. Tarantulas are obviously one of the most famous spiders, uh, specifically because a lot of people will keep them as pets. This is a pretty typical, uh, is it a female? I would have to guess it's a female. I could be totally wrong though. Now these spiders are going to be hanging out under these rocks. You can kind of see here, he's got all of his little webbing and uh, all that little stuff down there. Just kind of a little basic tarantula tone. I'm, I'm really hoping he's going to stay chilled out like this because tarantulas can be quick when they want to be. Beautiful species. Not something that would kill you if it ever bit you, but definitely not a pleasant thing to be bit by either way. Uh, so we're going to do our best to avoid that. And as you're seeing right there, pretty chill right now. Pretty chill. Tarantula is actually one of my favorite, and uh, this is one of the first times I'm getting to see them in Louisiana, my home state. I've actually gotten to see these guys out in Arizona, but I pretty much missed every single one that I saw. Uh, they are mostly a nocturnal species. They will come out mostly hunting at night, but uh, during the day, they're gonna be hiding under these rocks and up and alongside these cliffs. Really beautiful species. Now, one thing you'll notice about tarantulas is they have a much heavier body. They're not gonna be doing much climbing. A lot of spiders are gonna be going up, building webs, and kind of setting traps for stuff. If they set any kind of webbing, it's gonna be down in the rocks, just kind of to mark their home, in a sense, and kind of be able to sense around everything there. But uh, love me some tarantulas. Now, as I said before, these would not be a dangerous spider by any means. Absolutely beautiful species. Now, I would say that uh, tarantulas across the board are harmless, but there are some tarantulas in the world that would give you a pretty gnarly bite and uh, you know, don't want to generalize. So if you ever see a species that you can't recognize, just leave it alone, don't go and mess with it. Tarantulas are an amazing spider. And one thing I want to be careful of, and I'm not sure if this species in particular does this, but they can flick their hairs. You can see the spider is covered in little hairs, and they can flick them back. And I'd be fine with some getting in my hands, even though it'd be pretty itchy. But if he gets me in the face, that'd be pretty gnarly. Definitely don't want to mess with that. That's kind of one of the, that's one of the tarantula's kind of signature defenses compared to other spiders. And they've got little hooks. Whoop. When I when I breathed on him, he did not like that. Hey, I want him on this hand. Ah, look at that spider. Isn't that amazing? This would be the size, probably about some of the biggest wolf spiders that I find. This would be a small tarantula though. Not a big tarantula at all. They get much bigger than this actually. Wow guys, that is a beautiful spider to be seeing out here. We're gonna go ahead and put it back under its rock. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to go and check out some of the other ones that we've done with spiders in the past, and we will see you guys next time. So what we're gonna do is put the rock back. Ah, get that. Was. There we go, and we're gonna put this big spider back. That is awesome. Go go. Woohoo! Big old Louisiana tarantula.